But speaking of which, we talked about free comic book day, but tomorrow is new comic book day. What are you guys? Are you guys picking up? I know you had a heavy dent in your wallet last week, Andy. What are, you, are you picking up anything this week? Um, the new Obi Wan series drops tomorrow, so I'm picking up that. And only I know... one? As in, you're the oh, only one buying it? I'm just kidding. No, actually, there are a lot of people out there predicting this being um, uh under ordered and once that Noto, fan... is that Noto cover right yeah once the the fan once the show drops and the fan base um kind of starts building up a fair bit once the show is out then uh there might not be enough to satiate the fan base out there because star wars fan base is rabid yeah. and it's much larger than just the star wars comic book collectors and eventually, I would imagine that a lot of the Disney content that's dropping is going to start bringing more of the Star Wars fandom into comic book collecting for the Star Wars aspect. So I don't recall if this was um, a key or anything super special, but I do know that I've seen a couple of people online unknown. saying that uh, keep keep an eye on it. It's unknown at the moment. I mean, unless anyone read it, I don't know. If... EM Gift cover is amazing. Yes. Is that is that it right there? Yep. Is that Unreal. a Marvel cover or is that the Yeah. Trailer? I think it's a Marvel cover, but I'm not sure. There's, here's the Nakayama. Gis does the best. That's not that great. His face isn't that great. Everything else is decent, but his face isn't that great. The Gist is really good, though. There's the one in 25. Oh. Eh. Yeah. Who's that? And Dolfo. Oh, okay. No, um, and Adito. Okay. That's, that's Ho- Hobie one. That's a... <laughs> yeah, we've got <laughs> hobo we've got, one. <laughs> we've got cover A coming. Our personal um pull list. We've got cover A coming. We got the one in twenty five, the one in ten. We've got the Geist variant, and there's a Momoko Japanese creator version coming out. And I ordered copies of this from Dennis yeah. as well. That one. Um, there's, there's the Momoko. This, there's the Momoko. Hey, that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's not too bad. Have another drink. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we were just sitting there talking. Dank was just sitting there talking about how many kids were out there reading anime and not comic books. This crosses that line of an anime-esque style cover. Yet for Star Wars, I think this could find a following right here. I think it's cool that she has Qui-Gon on there. But I don't know. I'm just not a Momoko fan. I'm hit or miss. Ooh, hey, the TF uh, all I'm things missing from another world. Oh my god, is that Lashley? Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. He's badass. That's t- but the gist to me is the best. There's, is there's, it pronounced gist? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Drew the Juan. Yeah, that's like hold on, hold on comics, to, you guys. Hold on to that really quick. That's like um. God, who's, that really, who's that really well known artist that does the risque like magazine covers and Frazetti? Frazetti? Frank yeah. Frazetti, yeah. Frazetta, yeah. Yeah, Frazetta, that, Frazetta. that kind of reminds me of Frazetta. Yeah. It, and it lets you know that Jedi's can get cold. <laughs> Their powers don't keep <laughs> That's them warm. A snuggie. It's yeah. one of those things they can't do. Made the Snuggie popular before. I I think, that, uh... that is probably my favorite cover out of all of them. I think uh, Drew is going to be uh, doing some Star Wars uh, celebration action coming up here soon. Yeah, make sure you guys are checking uh, Wanted Comics, Comics with yeah. the X. Does Drew have a link that he can drop in the chat that he can share, or is it too yeah. early? Wow. Um, and then I've got one more, uh, McClay, that I'm pretty sure I don't think either of you guys are going to pick. And I was not expecting this, but there is something's going on. And there's a resurgence with Once in Future from Boom Studios, how it's gone from lately one or a couple of covers, a couple of covers to if you find it now, they're, the pull list has like six or seven covers for Once in Future this week. And I don't know why. And I'm I actually don't see it on of, here. That's because it's about to start a new new arc. And it's the a John new arc? Okay. Myers cover on it is, is fantastic. There we go. Once oh, in okay. Future. So it's, it's been like going. The King Arthur, you know, Sword and Stone type stuff here it's been going steady with one with with a couple covers and then maybe a ratio like an a and a b and then a ratio and i've been really happy with that because i don't feel like i'm being my wallet's being uh hung out to dry but then this one's got one two three four five or six covers yeah that john boy myers covers 
Once in Future and Seven Secrets, still two of my favorite Boom series. That I, I is think that not going to load? Oh, it's frozen. Overshadowed. Oh my god! And nobody's ordering this. Nobody's been ordering this series. I this have. is probably going to be one of the more scarce variants for Once in Future. God dang, that looks good. Yeah, definitely. If, if you talk about the covers and stuff, but if you want just for a good read, definitely pick up the trades. I don't know if it's on Hoopla yet or not. I think it is. But that's um uh where was it? Here we go. No, wrong email. Sword in the Stone. Yeah. Um yeah, we there's a cover A is the Mora cover, then the one in ten is a Mora variant, the one in twenty five is the Mayor's variant. Then there is a cover D F O C reveal that you don't see online yet that's gonna be unlocked. Or a FOC final or cutoff. Then there's a cover E unlockable variant from Daimio, or maybe this Daimio. Daimio. So one, two, three, four, five. That's kind of wasn't expecting to have that much, but that I I might kind of get lucky there getting that. I know um, they're only getting one one in twenty five. My LCS is not ordering more than twenty five copies of that for anybody right now. Is that it? That's that's what I'll stick with because there's a, I know there's some other stuff that you guys want to talk about. Where you got McClay? Um, I'm trying to. There was something on here that I uh, forgot about that I can't remember what it was. Uh, that was supposed to be good, but there's supposed to be something good from uh, Marvel out this week, and I can't remember what it was. Anyways. Avengers Forever, maybe. I think it's Avengers Forever. Is that the one that's uh, hot right right now? Everybody's yeah. going crazy for this Avengers Forever. So, yeah, a lot of yeah. crazy first appearances. Yeah. So uh, this is the one that a lot of people are talking about right now, this Avengers Forever book. and um, Yeah, check it out. That's one. Uh, another one is the Spider-Man 2099. I love this Kari Andrews cover. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is 2099 Exodus, I guess. Uh-huh. Um, and then... Hold on. There's a... Check the variants on that. There's a variant that I decided not to order that... It, boom, right there. there this you one? Go. The, the last Suyon? One, that one and the gold one. So the Suyon did a white one, too. That's kind of like mm. the uh, Legends. Ultimate. Yeah. Look at that. It's interesting. This one's cool, too. The Lashley. Ken Lashley's awesome, dude. I almost ordered that just because that gold border like that. If they had made that gold border foil, foil I would have been all yeah. over it. Oh, yeah. They should have made this foil. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll but, get surprised and it'll show up foiled. Yeah. This one's cool, too. The the Scon one. Ooh, yeah. So, twenty ninety nine uh costume is just so great. But the Kari Andrews one is, to me, the best. Who's writing it? Um, Steve Orlando. Oh, okay. Uh, we've interviewed him in the past on on a, on a different channel. Cool guy. Yeah. So there you go. I still like Peter David. <laughs> Peter yeah. David. Watch that be like an eight ninety nine cover for Marvel this week. Yeah. Peter David created one of the craziest characters I've ever heard of. That being El Muerto. <laughs> I just read writing, uh, writing comics with Peter David, and uh, it's a pretty good book. It's I like it because it's not it's not super theoretical. Actually, it's like not super technical. It's very like bare bones. Like, yo, this is what it is. It's like this. It's like this. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. I'm like, oh, that's great. It's just it's not, um, yeah. Just I just read it. I don't know. You just brought up Peter David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it for me. Dan, what do you got for us? Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna go with the uh, Monkey Prince issue five. I've I've been reading the series, enjoying it. Um, and you know, Gene Lun Yang, he you know he also writes Shang Chi as well. I don't know, he's just like <laughs> yeah. This cover right rename, here is really good. Ready to rename that series, right? Yeah, uh, Shang Chi and the Legend of, or Shang Chi yeah. and the Ten Rings. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he's working with, you know, Batman and Robin, and they're dealing with some stuff in Gotham, and he goes to high school, I think, with uh, Damien, I think. Um, and 
I think they're just propping him up to be a major player. Especially, I honestly, like, I feel like if the Disney Plus series takes off, they're gonna start really pushing this character, like in a weird, in this weird way. But uh, yeah, it's fun, and I want to see him go against Superman because he's magic, and Superman, you know, he can't take magic. So I he made his first appearance. It wasn't like. I say Marvel voices, but DC had something similar, right? Yeah, DC Festival of Asian yeah. Heroes or something. Yeah, I'm holding on to a couple of those. The the sweet, yeah, just the one. <laughs> I just gonna... uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just picking one because it's not there's nothing much yeah. else that I'm like super amped about or. Yeah. I'm just staying um, on theme. Yeah, I have a couple too. Uh... Batman number 123, people love foil, people love Batman, especially love when Jock does Batman. So there's a incentive foil Jock Batman variant. Oh. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That one's pretty cool. And then um, we talked about Sam Raimi. We talked about Bruce Campbell. There's Army of Darkness versus Reanimator number one. That I'm not going to find. I know, right? We don't have it in here, huh? Uh-uh. Hold on, I might have it up here. I'll get you a link for it. It's a cool cover, too. The cover A, there's a virgin variant, of course, but the trade dress to me makes... Iron Man. This looks Ooh. interesting, this Malevolent Rising. I haven't seen that. Um, Little Monsters 3 is out tomorrow. It's been a fun read. That's Lemire and Soriento again. Hey, I just put the link in the private chat for you, McClay. Wait, Little Monsters? Oh, it's Lemire? I forgot. Yep. That's not it. That's an old one, isn't it? <clears throat> Army of Darkness vs. Reanimator. Yeah, that's from Yeah, 05. There's a newer one. Hold on. Here it is right here, right? Nope. Available for yeah, all of oh. oh. Here we go. So there it is. Like... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's a Gabriel Delato cover, too. Yeah. So I like the trade dress. There's a virgin variant for it as well, but <clears throat> the, to me, the trade dress help makes the cover on that. Yeah. Who, who's cool. the artist? Did you say? That one's Del Otto. Oh, wow. It looks like a, a Bisley. Yeah. Um, nice. Then the big one that not none, none of us talked about, but it's been big and there's a whole bunch of Store exclusives for it, including one at Mr. Drew's shop and one at Comics, but doesn't Twig come out tomorrow? Twig, it does, yeah. Number one tomorrow. So I know that um, preview ash can was super hot. To me, it looks like Images version, Images trying to recapture that Canto magic. <laughs> but <clears throat> Holy moly. Keep There's what? so many. Yeah. Oh, my God. And the best are Wanted, Bird City, and Hive. Those are the three yeah. best. Yeah, there's Hive right there. Or uh, Bird City, isn't it? This is Wanted right here. Tony Fleece. It is a Tony Fleece cover, which yeah. is badass. And then here's Bird Cities. They did this yeah. NES variant. Yeah, that one's the book. That I yeah yeah. And then uh, where's the Hive one? The Hive is a Drew's. Uh, Zucker. Zucker, right? Yeah. Oh, color me jelly. Lunch with Tony and Big Clutch. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Monica Oceanfront. Mm. Here's 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 uh, uh, Hives cover. Yeah. Nice. Mm. So. Oh, I yeah, forgot. it's not, it's not a, a big week for comics, but there's some some books, especially just from a reader perspective. I'm excited. Not a big week. For I also comics. I pre-ordered a Metal Society issue one, where like it's the world is all AI and they actually yeah. like reanimate humans sort of to fight. Um, what what is it called? Metal Society. 
from image. I think that's what it is. It's like, it's yeah, like yeah. aliens use robots to fight, or, or th I think. Um, is that a Top Cow image imprint book? Or just yep. image oh, proper? Oh, it's it's yeah. Top Cow. Yeah. I thought, yeah, let's see what it's like, see what it's, what it's about. Uh, Zach Kaplan, I think, does pretty good work too. So, um, yeah, uh, I thought you were gonna say it Mark Millar. Read it. <laughs> um, yo, I hope Twig is good because I think not, it will be. There's a lot of everyone's going nuts over that. I think it'll be good, <clears throat> but I mean, to me. Canto was the one that caught a lot of people off guard. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, not all the people. Yeah, but anyway, that's the uh, that's picks for new comic day. That's.